Cheating death after falling asleep at the wheel, a Polk County man's life changed forever. Forrest Cunningham has a truly inspiring story of survival. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is live at Lakeland High School where Forrest graduated as a standout student. Yeah, Jen, he has a remarkable student story. He was a standout student here, wrestler, football player, you name it. He was in college for pre-med when in an instant it all changed. There's absolutely no doubt. We were stopped at the door by the doctor and he said, you know, this is, you know, this is a life or death situation. Forrest Cunningham. You don't know if I was going to make it another hour. Was in death's icy grip. The former Lakeland High School running back was with two college friends. They had spent the weekend at a big music festival near Gainesville. They were on their way home. The five or ten minutes down the road on I-10, I fell asleep at the wheel, went off road and hit a tree. His friends were driving behind him. Suddenly, they watched in horror as his car burst into flames. I was lucky I had my window down. Um, so they, Tyler reached in and unbuckled my seatbelt, and then they pulled me out of the fire. Wow. Pretty crazy. Yeah. It's a call his dad will never, ever forget. Divorce has been an accident. He was burned bad. He had burns on 40% of his body. I remember walking up and I said, I think as any parent would say, he says, I wish that was me laying in that bed instead of you. For a month, everyone waited and prayed as he laid in a coma. Do you think that this was a miracle? Uh, undoubtedly, undoubtedly it was. So many things had to go into place at the right time, the exact moment. You can call it a miracle, or you can call it divine intervention. Forrest woke up. In all, he had more than 20 surgeries. That's 20 times under the knife. And he spent months going through rehab. My palm is hypersensitive. Tragically, Forrest was severely injured. He lost all of the fingers on his right hand forcing him to give up his dreams of becoming a surgeon. But meeting him, you'd never know it. He works three jobs in between going to school full time for business, never letting it get him down. An inspiring story that miracles don't just come in fairy tales. Sometimes it's in second chances. Do you believe it was a miracle? Oh, 100%. It is more than nine out of 10 times. People go like, oh, you're so lucky that you're alive. And I go like, no, 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 that doesn't touch it. <laughs> that doesn't, the things that it took for me to stay alive and live through that was absurd. Whatever it was, Forrest Cunningham knows he cheated death. And although he didn't sign up for a miracle, he got one and is alive to appreciate it. Forrest is one of the most positive people I have ever met. Jen, even on your worst days, he shows you that you can overcome anything. He is an inspiration. Melissa Marino, live in Lakeland Forest tonight. Thank you. Melissa also asked Forrest how this near-death experience has changed his life. We put that part of the interview with him online on our website, WFLA.com.